TV star From Philadelphia to Hollywood Boulevard This ain't no music video Oh, 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 take my hand, we'll go And, and you know, I heard that at the height of your, you know, fame um, There were, you know, websites dedicated to you, fan clubs dedicated to you Is that true? Yeah I mean, it that's was, crazy It was amazing that, Yeah, it's amazing I just had to get friends to report to me It was really too much at the time for me to wrap my head around. I couldn't even yeah. fathom that. So I yeah. just tried to live a normal life, but that didn't really work either. So. Right, right. Um, it's an adjustment for sure. It's not yeah. what anybody thinks it is, but yeah. um, it's wonderful to make people happy. Right. But I didn't quite have a voice yet because although I had one, it was Dell's voice. Yeah. Um, so I got to put a lot of stuff in there, but um, I'm still working on finding mine right now. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm glad to be here today. Though. Yeah, I know. This, this is, is so great. Un unbelievable. Um, now, you know, we have to, of course, talk, touch upon a little bit, like, what happened after, you know, like, <laughs> what, yeah. what happened. And I know that, you know, you said I don't know that what you, you're would, talking you about. would talk about it. Um, your, your contract abruptly ended. Is that true? Um, uh, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, abruptly didn't restart. I was about to sign a, uh, uh, oh, okay. another year's um contract to do a lot more and uh, very lucrative. I was a little nervous actually. I wasn't sure if it was the right thing to do because yeah. I wasn't sure if I would ever get away from being the Dell guy. I wasn't sure if America after another year would be able to see me as anything else. Right. So I was wavering but the money was just like glowing in my eyes so yeah, I didn't know what to wow. do. But um, I feel like this kind of fate thing happened when I was at my uh, best friend's birthday party. His name was Rob Signum, and he took me when I was studying in Amsterdam to Scotland, to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, mm -hmm. where I met my girlfriend. And um, we, he used to date a Scottish woman, and we got really into the culture, and we both owned kilts. So for his <laughs> birthday, we decided we'd wear our kilts. Right. Um, proper Scottish style. Mm -hmm. No underwear. Right. right. Oh. The only way. Oh, it's getting warm. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're the only guys in kilts. And um, this friend, oh, he's a bitch of his day already. Well, we partook at the time in um, experimentation with marijuana. And uh, I purchased some for him for his birthday. Um, However, I called a delivery service, uh, which we have in New York, and the delivery service was being followed by undercover narcs, I think. They were in a yellow taxi cab, which I was watching as the transaction took place, and then the driver and the passenger got out and arrested me um, and my dealer. But uh, I think the kilt was the only thing that saved me because when I got to the precinct, the head just laughed at me. He's like, you got to be kidding me. Like, put this kid in his own cell. He's going to get the oh, crap beat now. Right. Oh, like, my God. Oh, my God. It's the first thing my best friend does, my roommate, says his father's a criminal defense attorney in Baltimore. He thinks uh, this kid isn't wearing any underwear in prison. So he and my girlfriend bring back underwear and pants. And the cops didn't understand why they needed why I needed underwear until they had to explain the kilt yeah, thing. Right, right. And did um, they know who you were? Like uh, they didn't at first, but um, slowly as the night went on, I think I went in prison about 10.30. By about 1 a.m., they'd all started making rounds like, oh, yeah, that's him. That's the guy. Dude. Right, right. Oh, um, my God. Yeah, so it was wow. intense. So anyway, got arrested. That ended, and um, that was it. I learned my lesson for sure. Yeah. But wow. it had to happen. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the cops definitely took advantage of... Uh, I was. Ben, honestly, I think everything happens for a reason. Yeah. That might have been, you know, maybe you were not being as careful as you would have been because you subconsciously wanted to get out of the contract. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. You could look at it like that. Okay. Well, listen, don't go away when we come right back. I'm going to talk to Ben about the powerful role he took on in the off-Broadway play, Joy, and what he's got coming up next. Back in a minute.